Hello and welcome to NAB 2011. What I would like to show you today is a concept of controlling a weather show using our weather and maps technologies, Viz Weather and Viz World, uh, on, a, on a perceptive pixel multi-touch interactive screen. Using this screen, it is possible for me to control my playlist here, down here, uh, either sequentially or randomly. Let's start with some graphics from the Weather Channel in Atlanta. showing Thursday highs, followed by Friday's highs, followed by some, uh, some forecast using data that they call shields. This data shows areas of similar weather. As we can see, it's rainy here with thunderstorm. It's snowy or going to be snowy here. And we see the temperature where it, where it is clear. Then we follow by tomorrow's forecast and we can see uh, where, where the, what, how the weather is going to look like uh, tomorrow. Moving on to some temperature map, this is something that you see uh, on TV almost uh, all over the world, but the nice thing about it, it doesn't need to just play or play in a loop. The weather presenter could take the time, could, could, could control the timeline interactively and show the interesting places, show the interesting times and illustrate something to, to the viewers. Or or the weather presenter could just play it like they always do. Now, we don't need to control our playlist sequentially. We can just browse the playlist and select what we want to show. Le for example, that graphics from Sky News in the UK, who've adopted this weather only uh, four months ago. And we can see here how Sky News uh, how Sky News use multiple weather layers like rain, uh, fog, precipitation, and so on to create a very informative uh, weather display for their viewers. <coughs> and lastly, I would like to show that it's also possible sometimes I will <coughs> to illustrate weather in very interesting and different ways. As we can see here uh, on this um, surfing uh, sites display, we have multiple Information, uh, uh, information pieces all represented in different ways than our usual. We see the water temperature represented here by the color. For example, on, uh, on a different surfing site, the color is much warmer, so this ball gets uh, uh, redder. We see the wave height represented by this duck here, and uh, which will move higher if the wave will be higher, and the wind represented by the force of, of the wind on this flag. And the icon here, of course, who, which is moving according uh, to the weather. Uh, and of course, there is the text that uh, can let the people have more information. And last, I would like to show a totally different concept of, showing, of, uh, of a weather show. Instead of following a playlist, either sequentially or randomly, I could just go to my interactive map where I, could sh where I could show different layers of weather information. And mind you, mind you I could show also different layers of news information uh, uh, for other purposes. So this map uses imagery from Bing, Microsoft Bing. We can zoom in to whatever place we like. They, all the roads, borders, streets, uh, street data, and names are coming from a VizWorld map server. I could, I could jump to presets on the map, like the northeast of the US, or even jump into Las Vegas to see a very detailed map with imagery from Bing and street data from VizWorld. This is the convention center in Las Vegas. We could open our telestration tool and illustrate some things on that. We can show different types of weather information here. Let's go back to the uh, northeast US and show some weather information. So as you can see, that symbol that I've placed here picks up weather information in real time from our partner Custom Weather in California. As I move it on the map, it picks up the weather information in that location. I can place multiple icons like that and show the weather in different places. You see, you see it's snowy here in Ottawa and sunny here in Minneapolis. I could 
I could use different types of weather icons. I could use a wind speed icon that will sample the wind speed in every place. And I could even have a five-day forecast that, inter that is interactively changing according to the place I am over. As, as you can see, the five-day forecast, the name, and the temperatures are interactively changing wherever, whenever I move. So I could tell a story as a weather presenter, uh, tell a story in the order I like to tell it, and show interesting places. And finally, I could show the radar information uh, to illustrate really how the weather evolved using the, uh, during the last few hours. Radar, this radar information covers the entire US in high resolution, and I could zoom in to interesting places, get better imagery and better radar, and show how the storm or the weather fronts are moving. <laughs>